Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to part 3 of getting started with NumPy. In the first couple of videos, we have seen how to create a NumPy array and also we have seen how, uh, how to index those array by using index system of NumPy. In this tutorial and the one after this one, we will discuss about some of the functions that you can use on this NumPy array to manipulate this thing. And of course, these are quite huge in number, so it's practically impossible for me to demonstrate all of the all of these functions in this video. So what I can do, I will give you the few example of few important function to manipulate this NumPy array, and also I will give you the link uh, so that you can go and explore this function by yourself. And as usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop your questions and comments in the comment section of the YouTube. I would more than happy to answer them. Uh, with the best of my abilities. With this, let's get started. So here I have created one a NumPy array which has one dimension and 12 element in it. So let's first print it. As you can see, it has one dimension starts and it has 12 elements starts from 0 to 11. So the first function which we will see is called flip. And as you can guess it properly, it just reverses the order of elements in an array along the given axis. So you can access this function flip from the class numpy array, uh, which is np in this case because we have declared num np as an alias of the class numpy. Then here you pass two arguments, the array, so the array itself, which is the first, first argument, and the second argument is the index of the axis in which, uh, along which you want to reverse the order. So it has only one in, in, uh, axis, which is zero as an index here. So I will say np.flip and then I will just print it. And when I print it, you will see, it just reverses the order of the array itself. The second argument of this uh, flip is, which is axis, is optional. So even if you don't provide it, it will still work fine. Okay, the second function which we're gonna talk about is called reshape. And this function, which we have already seen in the last couple of videos, but we haven't explicitly uh, talked about this one. So basically, if you want to reshape, uh, so uh, change the shape of an array, you can use this function. So you can access this function in two different ways. Either you can access it from the class NumPy, which is np, and then you say dot, and you can access this instance specific method from the class, which we have talked about in the uh, basics of Python. And here you can say uh, reshape. And then here you can pass the first argument, which is the array itself, if you access it from the, the class, because or else you, you, it will not know which array you want to reshape. And the second one is the shape itself, which you can pass it as a tuple. Let's say we want the shape to be 3, 4. So now if I will assign it to a again and it, and here I will say print a it will now it will change the shape of the array from from 12 comma 0 to 3 by 4 okay now you can also access this uh, uh, this reshape functions from the instance so if you say a dot reshape and as you are, you, you, you are grabbing this method from the instance, so you don't have to specify this instance explicitly here. So the, the argument here it will take is the shape itself, which is 3 by 4. And then here I will assign it to A. And let me comment this one out. And if I will just run it, you will see it will do the exactly same thing as previous. But here one thing, uh, it, uh, you should note that when you say reshape, it it first fill the rows, uh, fill, fill all the columns of a rows, then it moves to the next one. So this particular type of uh, of uh, rearranging is is called C-like index order. But if you want first all the rows 
of a column fill first then move to the next column then you have to specify the order here so here the second argument you can pass or the next argument you can pass is called order and here it it it, it could either be C or F if you say C it will do exactly same thing as previous so by default it is C but if you wish to fill the all the rows of a, of a column first then move to the next column then say F order equal to F now if you will run it let me maximize this one you can see first all the columns are filled uh, for first all or all the rows of a column fill then it moves to the next column now you can also do the same thing uh, uh, with resize so here okay resize uh, you cannot access it from the uh, from the instance you can access it only from the class it's a class specific method so here you can say np dot resize and it will do exactly same thing as previous and uh, to give you the proof uh, proof let me run it and you can see it exactly do the same thing okay now if I will uh, the, now the next function which you will see is called ravel and this function will return a flattened array a big flattened array so let me say print and here is say np dot uh, ravel and here it will take one argument which is a or the array of the numpy array itself and if I will just run it you will see you get uh, uh, this thing uh, as a big flattened array so here we have created an array then we have reshape or resize it then we have again flattened it by using ravel functions okay the first thing which you will see is how to transpose it so if you are familiar with uh, linear algebra you know transpose simply means that changing the dimension so if 3 by 4 uh, column uh, matrix if you want to transpose it become 4 by 3 so here I have created one array number array and which has a shape of uh, 2 3 by 4 okay now just to show you how it look like if I will just print it you will see it has three brackets and ends with the three brackets so that means the first is two so it has two rows which has again each of these rows has three by four columns so three by four matrix for the first row and three uh, sorry three by four it starts from this square bracket so three by four from matrix from the for the first column and 3 by 4 matrix for the second column okay now to transpose it you can do it in two different ways so here you can say print then you say a and dot then you say 3 and D stands for transpose so if you will run it you will get exactly uh, what you are looking for and in that case let me maximize this one and earlier it, be, it was 2 by 3 by 4 if I will now say it doesn't make any sense so let's say change it from a dot t then let's grab the uh, shape attribute and then it will be more clear to you so the shape would be uh, 4 by 3 by 2 earlier it was 2 by 3 by 4 now it's changed to 4 by 3 by 2 okay and you can essentially do the same thing by using a function let me first comment this one by using a, a function called transpose and transpose this is a spelling mistake transpose yes and then you here it will take this argument array and here you can pass the argument a and the the second argument is more of optional but you can do it that you can specify the order in which you want to transpose so the order is the by default order is just a reverse so the the row become column and the column become row so in this in this case 2 0 and 1 so this is the default order 2 means 
here it is uh, the 4 will now come to the 0th part uh, and uh, the 0 part will come to the uh, sorry uh, here I actually did a mistake so the one part one index which is 3 will now come at the middle which is remain unchanged the 0 which is in 2 will now come at the end so the now the shape will become 4 comma 3 comma 2 so it will not make any sense so let's change it to let's put this value to b now if i will just say print b dot shape you will see it is actually 4 by 3 by 2 which we have seen earlier so by default it is just reverse the order but you can specify the order here because uh, let's say i want the uh, first is I want 3 by 2 by 4 so here I can say one index because one is index is 3 then 2 means 0 then 4 means index number 2 so if I will do, do it so you will get 3 by 2 by 4 okay so this is how you do the transpose now similarly you can also do to do move axis which is a transpose like function so let's first talk about that one so let me comment this one out and here you say trans move axis so move axis of an array to a new position so it will take uh, let's say you can access this move axis move axis from numpy class and then you pass the argument array as a first argument then you you here you can say which axis to which axis so so let's say i am um, i want to change from one axis to zero so the first one is the source the second one is the destination so if i will just run it oops there is a problem here the b is not defined of course so let's name it as b here and then if i will just run it and you can see all your other shape is three. Uh, now let's say three by uh, a dot shape. So in that case, it would be more clear, all right? As h a p is safe, then so earlier it was three two two by three by four. Now it's changed to three by two by four because we say we want to uh, one to change it to zeroth index. So one index is here. It is three. We say three, put this three in zeroth position. So now, so that's why it become three by two by four. You can do the same same thing, exactly same thing with another function called swap axis. So here you can say swap axis, uh, swap axis, and here you pass this first argument a which is the array itself then you say the axis uh, from which axis to which one so here you can say first axis to uh, so so the axis number two which is has an index uh, one let's bring it to the index number zero which is the front so in so it should be changed into three by two by four now if i will just run it you will see it will do exactly the same thing okay so this is how this swap axis works okay the next one which we will see uh, uh, oops, yeah the next one which we will see is called roll axis and uh, roll axis you you actually roll the specified axis axis backward until it lies in a given position Okay, to give you a concrete example, uh, let me uh, actually comment everything till here. So, or at least delete everything till here. And here I can say a dot np dot once. And here I will say the shape is 3 by 4 by 5 by 6. Okay, let's say. So, let me first say print a dot shape. And as you can uh, there is a problem oops there is once not one okay so it's the, currently the shape is 3 by 4 by 5 by 6 now what I say I will create a different array called B and here I will say NP dot roll axis and here it will I will it will take the first argument is 
the array itself and the second argument is the the axis which you want to 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 roll okay so let's say i want to uh, put axis 3 now if i will say print b dot shape uh, shape So what we are saying, so we as we said a comma three, so three means it's six. Okay. And we are saying, put this six, uh, in the front. So it will just move to the first, first part. So similarly, I can change it. So let's say two. So in that case, it is five. I'm saying put this five in the front. So if I will just save it and run it. You will say 5 by 3 by 4 by 6 it just just roll this 5 to the front because we haven't specify the the next other argument which is the where you want to put it okay and here let's say 3 the same example which we have talked for the, for the first time so the we want 3 uh, we want the index number uh, 3 which is 6 uh, to be placed at second index so that means we just want to interchange these two so six become uh, so it become three by four by six by five so now if i will just go ahead and run it it will become three by four by six by five okay okay let's pause it here in the next tutorial we will see the remaining uh, important array manipulation functions as usual, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to reach me by YouTube or uh, even email. Or else, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your likes and subscriptions. Until next time. Cheers.